right, Buenos Dias, mis amigos. Okay, my uh, desire is this morning to make a short video talking about the Brontosaurus. Now, in the past, you've heard me talk about, perhaps, uh, that the Jackson Chameleon is the modern-day Triceratops and that the brown basilisk lizard, known as the Jesus lizard, is the modern-day Tyrannosaurus Rex, the T-Rex, right? So the Jackson Chameleon is the Triceratops, the Jesus Lizard is the T-Rex. Now, I also, now, in this video, I want to point out a third dinosaur that is a modern-day dinosaur and the reason for this is I want to do this today uh, essentially the idea came about because I you know every morning I drink my coffee and I look through my subscribers and I come across Eric Hoven which is the son of Kent Hoven and here he's talking about dinosaurs with Brian Thomas and then he's talking about gay sex and then he's talking about um, dinosaurs with this guy and he's talking about Nephilim gay sex Nephilim and dinosaurs and more dinosaurs right here and so there's all these videos about dinosaurs and it's astonishing to me that these guys can't figure it out they can't figure out that the Jackson chameleon is the modern day Triceratops and they, you know if you can't figure that out then you're not gonna figure out the Jesus lizard is the modern day T-Rex and then, of course, forget about the Brontosaurus. All right. So, here I just want to show some images of the Brontosaurus. All right. Now I get it. Uh, you know, dinosaurs when I was a kid were was much more simplified than what it is today, and now they've made it. Uh, you know. Uh, extremely complicated and confused and nonsensical and all that sort of stuff but you notice this guy here well there's something I uh, I guess four points maybe that I want to point out here back legs front legs and the nose okay so we got the long tail got the back leg front legs and the nose and it's interesting that this sucker has the serpent's tongue as well or the you know like the NASA's tongue on the NASA symbol same thing but um, you know you hear people talk about oh the dragon that's the dinosaur well I don't want to get into that I really don't I just want to show you that this guy here these guys they found him over six feet tall today they're running around over six feet tall so that's incredible I'm gonna to touch on that in a second but first of all let me show you um, don't let this confuse you how they stand these suckers up alright it's it that's it's a, not in, relevant okay this is just uh, how they wanna present these guys alright it's not uh, accurate that they would stand up like this on their hand on their hind legs all right because you see this guy here see how he uses his legs to scoot his body here in this uh, museum they have him walking upright that sort of thing don't let that confuse you okay I want you to pay attention here the long tail the back legs the front legs and then the nose okay nose front leg back leg long tail I want you to notice that and then go here notice same thing long tail back leg front leg nose it's the same creature no doubt in my mind whatsoever now how would you explain that in the Bible well it's very clear uh, first of all, I think it's it's really important to understand that it is a scientific fact that reptiles never stop growing in size. 
So as long as these guys are alive, and as long as they're eating, they will continue to grow and grow and get bigger and bigger. All right, so now it's interesting. We notice by reading the Bible that Adam lived to be 930 years old, and then he died. All right, so Adam living 930 years, that's a lot longer than what we were living today. All right. So what happened? Well, the flood happened, right? So because the flood happened and God destroyed the world, he also uh, saved eight souls and then he lowered the amount of time that he allows us to live on the earth. All right? So now today we can we live about 70 to 80 years uh, the Bible even says let's go this way I, I might not have this right I wonder no yeah give me a second here it's been a while and here in Psalm 90 verse 10 the days of our years are three score years and ten that's 70 years and if by reason of strength they be four score years that's 80 years yet is their strength labor and sorrow for it is soon cut off and we fly away all right so we live 70 to 80 years now after the flood before the flood men were living much much longer 12 times longer. Alright, so if man was living much longer before the flood, then so also were these guys living much longer after the flood. Therefore, when the flood came and destroyed all the creatures that were not saved in the boat with Noah, uh, when that happened, all these creatures would have been buried and died. Maybe not all of them would be buried, but they, they would all die that weren't in the boat with Noah. Alright? Many of them would have been buried. Alright? Because the whole earth was covered in water. And, of course, if you're familiar with floods that there's a lot of mud moving around and the mud would have buried a lot of creatures and then therefore there would be evidence in the fossil record of these guys not just six feet but much much bigger and of course uh, we have evidence of this and these guys are displaying the evidence of this all in many museums all throughout the world all right not just the brontosaurus but the the t-rex and the triceratops all right these are on display all around the world and they're very big they're much bigger than what we see today however these creatures the brontosaurus the t-rex the triceratops they are bone for bone the same as the creatures that are alive today. And I think people really get confused by this idea of extinction. And it's interesting, I showed you, uh, I was talking about Eric Hoven, and he and his buddies, they make the case that uh, scientists claim certain creatures have gone extinct and when they haven't. And that's because nothing can go extinct nothing has ever gone extinct if anything had gotten had gone extinct then Noah saving all these creatures would have been in vain all right and this to me is just a constant and another attack another evidence of an attack on the Word of God 
right? the idea that creatures can go extinct they can't and they don't and these creatures for example that are alive today were alive before the flood yeah I mean you can't logically argue against that and it's a scientific fact that these creatures never stop growing in size so before the flood they would have lived much longer than what they live today therefore they would have gotten much bigger than what they get today and we have evidence of that all over the world alright so that's it that's all I want to share today